Turns out humans are not the only ones hibernating these days. Audra Brown stopped by the Toronto Zoo where the extreme cold has forced many of the animals indoors. Pandas actually love the cold weather and playing in the snow, but they are on strict temperature rules for outdoor access. And this weather is just too cold for them. So they were all cozy inside. Really cold, say below uh, minus five. They may not go out at all. Looking for the giraffes? You'll have to look indoors today. Uh, large uh, heated shelters for who stock, but we watch them very carefully. In fact, the zoo has extreme weather guidelines for every species of animal, and each one is evaluated individually. We watch them really carefully. And it's not only based on temperature. Wind chill, ice, and ground conditions are also factored in. Today, many of the animals do not have access to the outdoors. If they were to get access, uh, it would be uh, strictly uh, they would be able to come in and out. And it depends on their origins as well. Surprisingly, lions are often out in the cold weather in parts of Africa that go below freezing, whereas some penguins are kept indoors in the winter. Well, this is the lion exhibit, and they're not outside today, but if you are visiting them on a cold day, they might be. And that's because these outdoor dens are actually heated. Heated waterers, right, that you can't often see because they're hidden behind a rock. Despite having access to the indoors and heated shelters, some animals are just made for these temperatures. So, of course, the polar bears, arctic wolves and reindeers are out and fine in this weather. Well, one thing to bear in mind if you are going to brave these cold temperatures and head out to see these animals at the zoo, dress in layers. You'll be going from these arctic temperatures into tropical climates in the pavilions. At the Toronto Zoo, Audra Brown, City News.